anyway, my mother was uh, the daughter of these farmers, and she had two other sisters. So, from what I understand, my mother became pregnant of me with my father. My father was building there in, in the Vomero. It's called the Vomero, V-O-M-E-R-O. -E it's called the Vomero, the, the side where my mother was, was. It was all a lot of land, very bucolic. Okay, so, um, she came back to Torre del Greco. The, the, the parents threw her up because she was pregnant. In those days, being pregnant without a husband was a, a crime, so to speak, or sin. Right. sin. Yeah. So the two sisters, Antonietta and Maria, which were the sisters of my father, Pietro, they compelled my father to marry her. They forced her. They forced her. I mean, I think that the lust was over, you know, for my father, and I don't know if it was over for her too. I, I don't, I don't know the feeling that she had for my father, but I know that my father was a what is it called in Italian, a donna iuolo, which is a man that runs after the skirts. And he was very handsome, my father, very handsome. So it was very easy for him to have a lot of women, and I think that he also had Andreina which is the grandmother of Andreina that came here. Andreina was the grandmother of Andreina. Okay? So, um, they got married and they had two more children, my sister Mary and my brother Raphael. One afternoon, one afternoon, my father traveled all the time and he, on his uh, name's day, which is June 29th, he's St. Peter and Paul, I don't know if you know that. Didn't know that. Okay. June 29, it's St. Peter and Paul, uh -huh. and our apartment, which my father had built on top of uh, Cesare Battisti numero 16, he built a whole floor, okay, and we were living at the top floor, the third floor. Beautiful house. We had a dining room made of marble, green and black marble. We had all the chairs of velvet. We had chandeliers in every room, crystal chandeliers. I mean, the money was flowing. And my mother used to go to the atelier in Naples. Atelier is a fashion, a fashion place, you know, a place where you get the women pair, it, uh, go on the, you know, on a, what is it called, that thing? The piazza? No, no, they go, it's like a, you sit and you watch the women going with different dresses okay. and you pick. Like a fashion show. Like it's a, a, an atelier, it's called atelier in French. So uh, she would go there and, and pick, let's say, a coat that was, you know, Bisone. It's called Bisone. It's, you know, the Very best one. Yeah. 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 Uh, then she would get a hat. She would have uh, shoes of crocodile and pack a book of crocodile. Uh, she would dress this really unbelievably for a woman that was a daughter of the farmers. Okay? She developed a taste, a taste very quickly. Yeah. Uh, with money, yeah. so and and she used to she used to read um, the soap the soap uh, stories like they have a soap opera. Uh, opera. Yes. They used to be on a on on um, on a magazine, kind of a magazine, and the story was like written. Yes, like the comics. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that she became became embroiled in these little stories of love. I don't know if my father gave her any kind of love or whatever. I don't know that because I was too little. But I remember one afternoon, okay? One afternoon, I remember. Yeah. I remember one afternoon around two, my mother all of a sudden dressed the three of us beautifully. Nice clothes, nice. And I was always very... Um, I was always very uh, curious and very intelligent indeed because I said, when are we going? It's on a Sunday. Why are you putting these clothes on us? She said, don't worry about it. It's none of your business. We are going for a walk. Okay. So we are all dressed. Now, Raffaele was about two years old. I was about... No, it was more than two. I'm sorry. Uh, he was about three or four. I was about eight or nine, and Maria was about seven or eight. Because between Maria and me, it is me, not I. Between Maria and me, there is there is, there is um, 
There are two, but no, one year or different. There is one year uh -huh. between me and Raffaele. There are four. Okay. Okay. That's why the, the picture we have to figure it out as as it is. So we got dressed, and I remember Cesare Battisti. That's where we lived, numero 16. We came down. We, we went down Cesare Battisti. You have to understand that Cesare Battisti curved, and for a long time you have to go more and more, and then you make a right and you walk some more to the beach. If you go to the left, you go to the seaport of Torre del Greco. So we reached this place. We had to go either right or left. She took the left. To the seaport. To the seaport. Oh, like it was yesterday. Wow. Oh, yeah. And I remember even what I was wearing. So, I said, why are we going to the seaport? We don't have any ship. Why don't we go to the beach? So she said, no, we are going to the port. Stop talking. I don't know, she, she yelled at me. So um, we are walking and walking. Now, before you get to the seaport, there is a long stairway. One this way and one that way, going down. So my, my little brother, Rafael, I felt sorry for him because he couldn't walk anymore. He had walked so much that he was tired. So I said, Rafael is tired. I want to go home. I, I, I don't want to go to the seaport. So she said, stop it. Stop it. So she sort of almost, oh, yeah, threw my brother down almost. She didn't pick him up. No way. And I couldn't pick him up because I was small. Yeah. So we went all the way down and we are in front of ships, huge ships. And they are all gray, dark gray, the ships. They're all dark gray. And I'm looking at this ship saying, what am I doing here? So all of a sudden, far away from the ship, there was a building. A door opens and a man comes out, good looking man. So, he goes, Anna, che bellezza, you are here, come in, come. And she said, hi, Cecco, his name was Cecco Andrea. I don't know which one was the name or which one was the Who name. Who was he speaking to? To Anna, my mother. Okay. Yes. My mother took, took the three of us with her, like three little chicken, and she's the mother chicken. And we went to see Cecco Andrea. So the first thing that I said, I said, who is he? Because I, in the absence of my father, wanted to protect my father. I immediately saw red. I saw red. I said, who is he? She goes, don't worry about it. What does it mean? He's just a friend. So we entered into this vestibule. Dark. I didn't like it. I did not like it. My brother and sister, they, they were kind of younger, especially my sister, she didn't care. So he picked up a yellow canary in a cage and put it on the floor. And he said, you play children with this. Your mom and I will go in the office. So they left the door a little bit open like this. Okay? So my sister Mary and my brother Rafael, they kept on playing and playing uh -huh. and laughing and I was not laughing. I was very serious. So I went near this little slit of opening. I peeped in and I saw my mother on the desk, seated on the desk, and I saw him kissing and embracing her. I was only eight years old. It hit my heart. I almost died it. It was really Thank bad. Thank you, Laura. Same to you. Mm. No, no, not in the middle of dinner. Uh, we, so, we're we here by Raquel, and we kind of, I'm sorry, do you mind one minute? No, it's uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we, um, well, Raquel is talking, uh, talking to